Ooh, look at that. See some Millefiori glass. Let's go over and check it out. So today I am at Salvation Army. It's been a little while since we had a video come out. We had a little bit of car trouble. And after this, I'll be stopping at the restore. So let's get in there and see what we can find to resell on eBay. Ready. Grab the old cart. Oop, it's a little wiggly. Okay, this is where I always start. <laughs> what are these glasses over here? Those look different. Other McDonald's, Hawaii. I'm gonna put those in the cart. I wonder if there's a year on it. McDonald's in Hawaii. Ooh, I see some yellow glass for $2.99. It has a daisy button. Put that in. I'm not sure how much it's worth. Uh, we have some ceramic made in Peru for $2.99. It's hand painted. I recognize this. Wasaki. Wasaki. <laughs> Um, I've seen this at Captain's Treasures. It's really not worth too much. Oh, look at these mugs. There's ballerinas. For a dollar each, I'll get those. Those go in the cart. And I forgot my padding. But I never broke anything in there. Let's see if this is Costa Boda. Nah, it doesn't feel like it. It could be, um... This is an Italian artist. I forget the name. It'll come. It'll eventually come to me. But, all right. Let's see what is down. Oh, I wanted to look at this. Oh, that's just a happy anniversary. Looking for George Briard. Some spongeware. For some reason, I recognize this pattern. I can't remember if I had this before or I know somebody that had it. Or I've probably just seen it here a bunch of times. <laughs> Is it kind of neat? A floral. Hmm. I like that pattern. Oh, look at this clock. Oh, it's a resin. I was thinking maybe it was chalkware. Or wood. Anything down here? a cheese cutter for two dollars made in Thailand it's Sutton for two bucks I'll do that it's in pretty good condition too let me take a look at that Bavaria for um, 99 cents each. What about this? It says Rome. 1989. For $2. Has a signature in the back. Art. Something for R. Lagini. And it has a marble base. Definitely go putting that on the cart. All right, what about the vases? Nothing's really popping out. Maybe that one? Nah. It's a uh, mass produced. All right. Ooh, look at this purple. Bear vase. Ooh, it has some weight to it and a shiny bottom. For four ninety nine. That's a bit much for um, a clear vase. Looks like a huge beer glass. <laughs> now look at this angel. It's daughter and love. Ooh, let's see what the bottom says. Bradford Editions for two ninety nine. The wings are tacked. I don't see any repairs. I'll do that. 
just don't break. Look how cute the little mice are. The little quilt. It looks like it was glued on something. We have an angel or a fairy from California pottery. You have the blue and the white. Um, it's missing the main bowl. Where is the main bowl? <laughs> I would totally get it. I'm not gonna get just the uh, dishes. Oh. Is that a hobbyist piece? It's broken anyways. Ooh, I wanted to get these. Oh, they're all scratched up. You're supposed to put, um, one of our viewers said to maybe get these. You're supposed to put a bulb and a flower grows out. I forget which kind of flower. So I'm gonna get these. If you find the antique ones, they sell for some good money. Like over a hundred bucks. We take a look at this fish. $6.99. It does have a little bit of age to it. I was hoping it would say Italy. Um, $6.99 and it's big and heavy. It's kind of cool though. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Pyrex. No pattern on it. That, it is cracked. But let me take a look at the bottom. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. How much is it? $5.99. What are the colors? Blue and white are half off. Green is $1.49. Yeah, with a crack and chips, I gotta leave it. Kind of cool. Message in a bottle, send and track your own message. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I like it. $4.99. Here's some crystal. Hmm. 79 cents. A little um butt of ace. Oh, I see more um yellow depression glass. Yay. I got two of them now. Let me make sure it's not cracked. It looks good to me. These are $2.99 each. I think I'm making a good decision on those. It's an old clock. Nope, not so old. It's made to look old. Make a uh, tea time. <laughs> I remember looking at this and now I remember the handle's cracked. Looks like a pottery mug. Ooh, it is sign on the bottom, 96. Um, it is studio pottery, but it's a little crooked. I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, it's a little sloppy. I'm... We have a lot of pottery right now. Is that Talavera? Hmm. Oh, big crack in it. I'm gonna leave that. All right, and what about this one? Hand painted. Nantucket. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> uh, Winnie the Pooh mug. And it says Disney store on the bottom for $2. I don't see any damage, I'll put that in. Some Anchor Hawking Milano. I think it's the Milano um, pattern. Uh, $2 each. If it had some color, like the blue or yellow, I would do that. I forget the rare color. Anything else down here? Not this decanter. Rare scotch. With the velvet art. Ooh. $14.99 ain't bad. You have a ship. Another ship. That one's kind of cool. I like the blue. $14.99. I can't ship it though. <laughs> That's huge. Let's take a closer look. Um, is there an art artist signature? There usually is. Oh, I don't see one. It's kind of cool to look at though. And over here. That's on canvas. That one doesn't have a, oh, it does have a signature. Von Dover, maybe? That's huge, too. 
we have trouble finding boxes for small paintings, so I can imagine a huge one like that. That's all the DVDs. Toys. That's a little trinket box. Ah. Oh, it has to be broken. That would have been cool. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here. Ho ho Holly. Alright, I took my second look around. I'm not seeing anything else. So we're getting the two mugs, the Pooh Bear mug, the cheese cutter, the Made in Rome figurine, the two McDonald's glasses, the Yellow Depression, and the Angels. Let's go check out. Alrighty. <laughs> There's no sales today. It's Friday. Alright, let's start over here. I see some porcelain. They're $30 for the pair. There's no markings on it. These look like they'd be vintage. Let me see if that's transferred on. Oh, it's hand painted. You can tell you don't see the little dots. Um, $30 is a bit much. If there was a mark on it, like myosin mark, I would get that. Oh, look at that. Some heavy gold. I was trying to see if that was um, George Briard. I don't think so. I don't see um, his signature. We have, um, these look like Japan. Vintage Japan. Um, the porcelain is usually really light. You could see through it. But look at the people and the detail. I love it. How much is that? $5 for the cup. Um, I would say it sells for like 15 Then you have that creamer and sugar. Yeah, I have to leave that for that price. I see some antique glass. Ooh, look at that. I see some Millefiori glass. Let's go over and check it out. Millefiori style. Let me take a look. $50 for the set of five. Ah. Eh. The quality isn't there. Um, let me take a look. I don't know, it almost feels like it's painted on, but it's not. It's inside the glass. Let's take a look at the margarita glass. Yeah. $50, I gotta leave that. Anything over here? Let's go back to the antique glass. How much are these? Oh, ten dollars each. Man. I think we sell ours for fifteen to twenty-five. It usually says souvenir of a stay or a fair. If it said fair on it, I would probably spend ten dollars. We have these cast iron teapots. Hmm. How much are those? Six dollars each. That's not too bad. Made in Japan. Oh, look at this. A butterfly trinket dish. Trinket box made in China for one dollar. I'm gonna put that on. Even though it says made in China. Um, people like butterflies and trinket boxes. This looks like it could be um, in a pond. Yeah, it looks like it's hand painted. Nippon on the bottom has a nice gold and green. Twelve dollars for the set. I can't for twelve dollars. This one. That's different. It just says um hand painted Japan. For four. Right over here, this looks like it could be a restaurant wear. Um, Wellsville, China. How much is that? Two dollars. I said Buffalo. Even the Syracuse, it's the most common, the green. It's also like ten bucks. About this picture. There's a little bit of age. Syracuse, China. <laughs> oh, this little vase. It could be brilliant glass. For 25 it's kind of hard to tell unless you hold it because it's really heavy and kind of sharp so you'd feel it on your fingers and this set um lamoche france 
I was looking this up, this uh, vegetable um, dish right here. It sells for 65 and there's two of them. There's the soup tureen. And then the coffee or chocolate pot. So 65, I, before I spend 125 on a set, I gotta consult with Michael. <laughs> Cause that's his money too. So I gotta come back to it. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, $35. That looks like it has some age. It's pretty with the blue. Oh, this canister set looks kind of cool. It looks different. Uh, let me pick this one up. I'm trying to see what language that is. French? Maybe? Uh, what does that say? Looneville. Made in France. Oh, so I was right, French. <laughs> Three dollars, four dollars. It's missing the lids. And there's a chip. Um, let me see what kind, of, what age that would be. I think without the lids, and then this lid is chipped. I'm gonna leave it. Nothing over here. What about this face? It's more modern. It's pretty green. There's more of a um, watermelons, spongeware. Hmm. It's kind of different. Just put a little candle or tea light in there. Oh, it's perfect for Valentine's Day. I think I'm going to get it. Yeah, perfect time to get that for a dollar. Look, I have two things in my cart. <laughs> All right, so these two um, pottery figurines. I think they're figurines. Um, I did a Google Lens search on this one. It is made in Austria. You can see the signature down there. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. <laughs> but um, a set of two sells for about $20 and they want $5 each. So I got to leave those, which is all right. And I just want to show you these. Um, the Corel or Pyrex Snowflake uh, Garland. Um, whenever I find these and they're cheap, I'll just throw it right in the cart. Yeah, ten dollars a bit too much for that. I don't see any mugs or plates. Ooh, what about that? Little um robin and robin eggs. That's different. And it's signed on the bottom. I don't wanna, oops, I don't wanna break anything. Um, 68. I wonder if that's the year, but look at the detail. It's hand painted, so I gotta do some research on this. 28 pieces for $50. Alright, so I use Google Lens and replacements.com. Um, I didn't find anything on this pattern or the maker, but it's hand painted and signed. I kind of want to get it. <laughs> oh, I gotta. Maybe I'll send a picture to Michael and check and see, because it is $50. I don't want to waste money. Ah, here's a quilt. It looks like a quilt. Yeah, that definitely is. I was trying to see if it was handmade. <laughs> For only $2, and that's a pretty pattern, and I, I like the colors on it, especially up here. For $2, let me take a look on the inside. Oh yeah, it's definitely handmade. I'll get that for 2 bucks. Let's take a look at this one. It's kind of dirty. Table runner. Yeah, I'll leave that. All right, I am not seeing anything else. I mean, this is everything we're getting at the restore. Oh, my total spend at Salvation Army was only $20. I'm kind of curious about the McDonald's Hawaii uh, glasses. And I don't know too much about yellow depression glass, so this will be the first time I'm getting it to resell. Didn't have too much luck at the restore. Um, I only spent about $3. My best find at the restore was a quilt. Um, I'm gonna research it a little more. Go home now and try to list some of these items. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also check us out on Instagram, The Thrifting Twins. It's in the link in the description. And I'll see everybody next time. Bye. Thank you.